Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create this shelving unit for your shop, your bookstore, or your sewing room. Okay, the kit comes with all these pieces. You'll see some that has like little notches in it, and then you'll see some that does not. You want to separate the two. And then you have a really long board, and then you have four short boards. Then you have the face, and then you have the back. You want to go ahead and set the face on the side for now. And then the first thing you want to do is grab all these little ones, and you want to go ahead and put just a tiny bit of crazy glue on there. And then where these holes are, you want to line them up. Once you do that, then you want to take your square tool. If you don't have this, um, you can get it in my Etsy shop. Make sure it's square. I'm just using some Loctite Crazy Glue for this because it sets up quickly. Make sure your patterns are facing up, not down, and then you want to wipe off all the burnt edges. I've already wiped the top for you, but I did not do the bottom because I plan on painting it. Sit that in there, and again, use square, or if you don't have this tool set, you can get anything that's square, really, and use that. All right, repeat that process for all of those. All right, once you have all of them set up, you're going to want to go ahead and turn your board and then the shorter ones where you have four of them you have a front and a back you want to go ahead and put the pattern facing out and you're going to run one line of glue down the edge and you want to keep it even with the top and the bottom. Well, oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, put a little bit of glue on your shelf. Right, repeat that for here so you're going to put some glue along this little edge of the shelf and then you want to take and put it on the side that is going to go down with the pattern facing out So the next step is you're going to take the other two and you're going to take them and you're going to attach them to the front but with the pattern of the front facing in.
make sure they're even with the front. Okay, so the next step is you're going to put glue right along the right and the left side. And then you want to put glue along this. before you sandwich it together, you wanna stand it up and make sure you have it on a flat surface and you have it square. When you have it square, then you can push it together. Should line up pretty perfect if you did it the way I just showed you. Now, for this part, this is a tricky part, we're going to use some wood glue. And you're going to align it on all four sides. And you can do this beforehand if you think you can get it even, but it's a little bit tricky to get this in here. So I like doing it afterwards because I want it to be even with that bottom shelf. I just slide it in there and then I use my, well, not this one, the smaller one and I push it forward so that it's even. And then that sits flat and even. Repeat that for there and there. All right, once you have that in there, what I'm going to do, just so that it gets a quick hold, is I'm going to drop a little drop of Crazy Glue in the corner. Just that way it kind of gives it a quick hold for me. Since I didn't glue it the way that I did the other ones. And again, you're going to take your square tool and you're just going to level that. I'm just double checking, making sure I didn't knock it out of square. And then that's all you do for that part. Now, for the next part, it's the top. You have three more pieces. You can add them the same way we did the bottom to give it more stability, you know, which is not a problem. But just kind of putting them in there and then gluing them in place like that, or you can just go straight to add in the top. I like having these because it gives this more to hold on to. So I'm gonna do it that way. All right now, once you have it in there, hold your little tool across the top of it and just push it up and make sure it's even. All right, so for this one, I am using the wood glue. 
and I'm just squishing it in there. Just like that. Now this one looks like I didn't have it held tight, so I'm going to put a piece of tape on it to hold it in place until it dries. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And I use the wood glue for this one because it gives me more time to work with it and it's easier to slide it into a hole. So that's what that looks like now. Now you have your top piece, which we're going to glue right up on the top of here. I tend to glue myself the paper all the time. That's okay because you can take a wet wipe to it or sand it off and it'll come right off. All right now I'm going to go ahead and add some crazy glue right to the top. Sorry I keep putting my hand in the way, I just can't see it when I'm looking at this. I almost forgot I needed to glue this and I put the glue away on you. Now, as you can see, this is going to hang over just about an eighth of an inch on each side. Maybe a smidge more. Let's see. I think I made it an eighth. Yeah, it's one eighth. Okay, so line it up, and then when you have it up there, you want to flip it over right onto that like that. Now if you have clamps, you can clamp it down inside of there and that would be fine as well. But make sure it's even with the back. You don't want the back sticking out. So press it flat so this is flat on the surface and the back stays even all the way around. It has an overhang. Now, I don't have clamps down here so I'm taping on this will take a little bit longer to hold as it's a lot more glue there's what it's gonna look like if you can see the details in that on camera. That little bit does not want to focus. Sorry, I can't get any closer. But anyway, there you have it. And I'm going to just tape this down just a little bit to hold it. Okay, so leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Now, you may ask why I have the shelves so far apart and these ones down here. is so that we can stack the smaller pieces of fabric on the bottom and then the larger bolts on the top. Okay, I haven't made these ones yet, but this is for this shelf, and then this one goes up here. So you've got the really small ones, 
that go down here and they stack on the shelf. And this is something you can add on as well. And then all of the little ones you can make to fit on this shelf. So these would be fabric bolts as well. So you got the little ones, the medium ones, and the large ones. Now, if you want to do just books, or if you want a more uniform one, this is another one that you can get off of my shelf, off of my um, shop as well. Go ahead and check out the video for the um, pattern stand, and as well as this one with your rolls of fabric and then we have the little round stand as well and again you can download the printables off my website for the patterns and for the ends of all of your fabric it's got the little barcode and everything all right thanks a lot have a wonderful wonderful day and again don't forget to leave a question suggestion or comment below and i'll see you in the next video